what the heck is the best way to do cross cuts using your miter gauge. Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. So you, maybe you're a beginning woodworker, you got your new table saw, you're not really that used to it yet, and they undoubtedly came with one of these things called a miter gauge. Now I have just put a sacrificial board on my miter gauge and set it at 90 degrees so that I have support behind my cut so I don't get as much tear out. But anyway, one of the things you might be tempted to do when you want to get a repeatable cut, let's say I need a repeatable cut of nine inches. I want to just bring over my fence and line it up at nine inches and then try to push against that. But that is a no-no. But maybe you haven't built your cross-cut sled yet, one of these puppies here, and uh, maybe you don't have your miter saw yet. So there are plenty of ways in woodworking to skin the cap. Well, one way to use your table saw to safely do this, take something, whether it's a one inch uh, piece of hardwood, or in my case, I've got what's called a one, two, three block. I have several of these, I really like them. They're uh, one inch on one side, two inches on one way, and three inches the other way. So you can use them to set up anywhere from, if you got a pair of them, from one to six inches very, very accurately. Well, I like the one incher because then that way I'm not as likely to get off on my measurements. If I use three quarters of an inch, then I can, I can get screwed up. But with one inch, I say, hey, I want this to be nine inches, so I'm gonna set my fence at 10 inches and then throw this inch in here, and so now my cut will be nine inches. And by putting this piece of wood or whatever it is that you have back here, then when you push forward, you're no longer bound against that fence. The fence is still there for you, and it's repeatable, but you're no longer pressed against it, so you're not gonna be as likely to get kicked back. You can do something else wrong and get kicked back. You know, maybe your table doesn't have a riving knife on it, or you haven't put on your safety guard or whatever else. But anyway, so let me demonstrate. Got my miter gauge at 90 degrees. I got a support board. That's not necessary, but it's advisable if you don't want to tear out. I have my fence set at 10 inches. I got a one inch block in between. And so I'm gonna get a nine inch cut so I can do it repeatedly. All right. Safety glasses on. Maybe a little hearing protection on. And here we go. Keep your hands away from that. You can be here, but lock in with your thumb. And then keep this other hand, don't put it down here, keep it on the handle. And that is, what the heck is a safe way to do cross cuts using your miter gauge and your fence, but with a intermediate block. Small Workshop Guy, signing off. And remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf.